I fell off me bar stool and I bang me head, but I held on to me pint until I was dead. And then this fella came over as quiet as a lamb, and he says, "How are you doing? I'm Abraham." Well, I opened me eyes. I was in a maze. Sure, I thought I was lying there for days, and this beardy book in a long white gown made the sign of the cross, and he says, "You're sound." And he lifted me up and he shook me hand and he says, "You're very welcome to the promised land." Well, we went outside and the town was full. He said, "It's not a big town, but it's never dull." Ah, but the place was hopping with music and song. I says I to myself, "Now there's something wrong." And pints were a euro and crisps were free and every pub in the town with neither lock nor key. And he says there's a match in the park every couple of hours with refreshments served, little baby powers. And we win the championship nearly every year. And the rest of the time we spend drinking beer. I says I to him, it's Cavan Town with the gales a winning and the music around. Oh, with the beardy book, he got into a rage. He says it's not them whores; they haven't won in an age. And so the flower only lasted for a three-year stint. And now that Martin Donohue thinks he's the president. There's more places in heaven than Cavan Town," said the man with the beard and the long white gown. Grab a hold of me coat," says he to me, "and I'll bring you off on a little spree." "Ah, grab your coat yourself," says I to him. "Do you think I'm naked? Do you think I'm dim? If I grab a coat, it'll be me own. You can go where you like. I'm going home." Oh, he changed his tune. He says, "You don't understand. You're standing in the middle of the promised land." "Well, I don't give a shit where I'm now," says I to him, expecting a row. I says I'm going home to kill a Chandra town, you old beardy hoer, in your long white gown. Well, he took out a whistle and he gave it a blow, and he says, "Only for me, you'd be down there below." And he grabbed me by the neck and he pinned me up against the wall. He says, "I was there when you had your fall. I mind your business, says I, and I'll mind mine." And then he looked up at this great big sign. And I looked at him, in his long white gown. And I looked at the sign. Kill a Chandra town. Well, he let go of me neck, and he says, "You're free. You can go where you want, or you can come with me." I says, "Hey, where are you going? I'd like to know." And we were joined by a fellow with a fiddle and bow. He says, "I'm going up the town to a nice wee spot." You can come if you like. It won't cost a lot. And we walked with Abraham. In his long white gown, we walked the street of Kilishandra town. And the fiddler stopped, and so did Abraham. And he took out his whistle and he shook me hand. He says, "You had your fall. Your race was run. But you're all right now. So come in for one." And I followed him in, a little confused, forgetting that I was already boozed. And I sat up at the counter, and I had a wee sup. And the next thing I knew, sure me arse it was up. Ah, now I don't mind falling or even banging me head. Sure, it's better than being at home laying in bed. But if you ever go drinking, to kill a Chandra town. Look out for the book in the long white girl.